Libra, what's going on with you? This is going to be a weekly reading from the 27th through the 3rd. Through the 3rd of December, guys. God damn, we're already nearing the end of the year. These are big times, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on with you, Libra? During this time. What's going on with you, Libra, during this time? In your love what's going on with you during this time? Yes. Third. Let's get two more. Alright, Libra. Alright. Whoa, tower moment. Right off the rip, guys. What's going on? There seems to be some sort of paradigm shift here. Hmm. Then there seems to be a lackage of, of effort being put forth in regards to cultivating something. This could be repairing something. This could be building something. Hmm. Yeah, I just see a lot of uh, a lot of energy regarding, you know, just retreating, if you will. Subconsciously, you're not in a place of giving. You're not in a place of, of communicating. You're not in a place of expressing, projecting. You're more so in a place of withholding is where I see you, Libra. All right. Interesting. Things were good. Things were good. And the sudden strike seemed or seems to be the catalyst to something, you know, something unpleasant. All right. The, this destructive catalyst of the tower can often ensue in creating positive opportunities, but not in your case. All right. It ensued in creating something. Something um, challenging to say the least. Something here that's compelled you to shut off. Something here that's compelled you to be invulnerable, to not give up yourself, and to be in a place of not not ha not being able to receive from others. All right, and this could just be for towards someone else. And you know, you maybe you have children, and you could you could receive your love from your children, and you know, your dogs or your cats. Nevertheless, yeah, in regards to your love life, ladies and gentlemen, in regards to your romantic department, that's what I'm referring to, Libra. All right, now, the person that you're dealing with here is appearing as a three of coins. And this individual here is someone that is prone to working towards you or working towards a relationship with you. Building together is what I'm seeing here in regards to this individual. Now, your desires, is you're wanting forward movement in regards to this, I see. All right. You're wanting forward movement, Libra. You're wanting progression. And it's moving towards her. It's moving towards her. Well, that, that's a positive spin. All right. <clears throat> now, why is this card of abandonment here in, in the conscious position? What are you do What's going on, Libra? Are you just going through a phase, guys? Are you guys just going through a phase? Now, in regards to this energy here, I feel that you were abandoned. You were abandoned by someone. All right, someone here, you, you dealt with someone, This whether it's the individual we're, we're gonna talk about in just a moment, the individual is popping up and wanting to cooperate with you, or whether it was someone else, Libra, I'm seeing that you were dealing with someone that was unreliable and you ended up getting hurt. All right, you were playing with fire and you fucking got burnt. Okay, it put you in a place of discord, mental discord to say the least. And it put you in a place, more importantly, in a place of, of, uh, of you imposing limitations on yourself. That, that is what needs to be emphasized. All right, so this negativity that you're experiencing in your love life, all right, could simply be a, a deeply buried traumatic attachment. All right, however great or small it was. It's an attachment here is what I'm seeing with the devil energy. And, and it's something that you're imposing on yourself. Okay, it's something that you're imposing on yourself. So if you're feeling abandoned and, you know, it, if you're feeling that, that, that oppression, ladies and gentlemen, it's you holding on to that concept of, of abandonment. That's what I'm seeing. 
Right? That's what I'm seeing here in the conscious position. Beware of that, ladies and gentlemen. Beware of, of projecting past traumas onto a different relationship as well. Alright? Because if that's the case, Libra, then you are clearly not ready to be in a relationship yourself. Alright? Now, I just read for Aquarius, and whomever Aquarius was dealing with, they're, unemotional, they're emotionally unavailable. Is that you? <clears throat> What's going on in the subconscious position here with the high priest? Queen of Wands, um, the Moon Energy, and the Seven of Cups. Interesting. All right. So basically, I see you a bit dubious about. I see you a bit dubious about this individual. This feelings, your feelings for this individual. That is what I'm saying here, Libra. All right. There's a lot of heartache here. A lot of heartache here within you with this Three of Swords. All right. The Moon Energy, Seven of Cups. This is not only emotional discord, this is, this is mental discord as well, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, this is not being clear within your own self. Yeah, Libra, you... Now you're dealing with someone. You're dealing with someone here. What's going on with this individual? What energy is this individual projecting? Tell us about this individual here that Libra is dealing with. Let's get two more. This is definitely a relationship from the past that in which there's a lot of turmoil, a lot of strife attached to it. Okay, this individual is coming forth to bring about a new opportunity, a new age. You see, look, relationship from the past, right? Major attachment to the past is some serious disastrous energy and strife is what I'm seeing here ladies and gentlemen all right it's nevertheless this person is coming forth towards you to bring about the opportunity for something new but that's all this is is simply a potential Libra that's what this individual is bringing forth and it seems to it seems as if you're going to take it you're going to take it all right you're going to, this is actually that simple ladies and gentlemen that simple all right so look I see you taking this opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, and I see I'm seeing it prosper because in the future, what succeeds this three of cups is the four of wands. So this relationship is only further solidifying, okay? And with that said, Libra, just it behooves you to be as ready as you can be for this relationship because if you're bringing and holding on old holding on to old baggage you're you're going to infect this relationship okay you're going to unconsciously project this stuff onto your partner now this relationship can very much facilitate you in healing you know depending on your partner many times our partners can help us heal past hurts and past traumas all right but it's it's up to you and that individual to navigate that correctly. All right, you need to do your part. You can't be entirely dependent on someone else for your own healing, okay? So if you need help with it, and this individual is suitable for, for, you know, for helping you, do so. But ladies and gentlemen, I don't know why I just, I'm inclined to emphasize that beware of you know, bringing on old baggage onto something new. All right, whether it's a new phase or whether it's a new relationship, you call it, all right? It seems promising and yeah, move toward it with, with such energy. I'll see you guys soon.